Hi, I'm Becky Parker Geist. I am the CEO of Pro Audio Voices and Amplify Audiobooks. I'm also the president of Bay Area Independent Publishers Association and the host of the Audiobook Connection podcast. And I'm here to talk to you today about Amplify Audiobooks. We are facing a unique time in human history. We have had the digital revolution, like since the early 90s, right? And it has completely transformed every part of our life in some good ways, but also in some not so good ways. Creators, in this case, the people who are writing books, are now at a point where we kind of have to face the fact, if we haven't yet, that, you know, we've kind of been taking advantage of. Most of us authors... I count myself in there. I am an author also. We want more than anything to reach our readers and our listeners. We have important messages and great entertainment to share. So if you're an author with an audiobook or even just planning to have an audiobook, whether you're talking about Audible, which is part of Amazon, or any other retailers out there selling your audiobook, the truth is that they're not paying the authors their fair share of the revenue the royalties. The balance is way off. We authors invest in our creative work, including getting our books into audio, and it can come at a financial cost that sometimes may feel prohibitive, but not necessarily because we don't have or can't find the funds to take on the investment, but more because if the investment doesn't recoup any of that cost, then it's just an expense. And sometimes that can hurt. So you put that together with the unfair percentages the retailers claim from every sale, and that can be, it can be hard to break even until now. This is what's so exciting. And what I want to share with you today, there is good news. In fact, there's great news, but it's important to understand why it is such great news and why it is so important. We're at a pivotal point. So we created at Pro Audio Voices, we created this program called Amplify Audiobooks. And it is to fight for the rights of authors in the area that I know, which is audiobooks. Audible has completely dominated the audiobook market. And it's great that they've made it very convenient to get audiobooks and that audiobooks are booming. People are busy, they're commuting, they're driving around, they want to listen to audiobooks, and that's great. The problem is, once again, that authors are not really getting rewarded. They're getting a tiny amount of whatever income is made through those audiobooks. So typically, authors don't even realize, they don't recognize just how much they're paying to retailers for every sale of their audiobook for the life of the audiobook. It's like, it's, it's kind of like massive ongoing thievery. And as an audiobook producer and an author and someone who loves audiobooks, this has frustrated me for years, that our industry has put up so many barriers to author success. Now, things are changing, and I'm excited to share it with you. But I do want to take a moment to really highlight this massive ongoing thievery, because it's different on Amplify audiobooks. We don't do that. There is a one-time store setup fee, and sometimes people don't understand how when they distribute to, through the, um, to the traditional retailers through ACX or other digital distributors, they are paying a lifetime of fees. So just to understand the kind of the royalty structure, you pay a fee on every audiobook sale for the lifetime of the audiobook. And you also have to give up all control that could help you market effectively um, that audiobook effectively. So it's kind of a win-lose situation where the retailers win and the authors lose. But good news, Amplify Audiobooks is completely different. Now, when most aud people think about audiobooks, they first think of Audible. Amazon is the behemoth that's traditionally held all the cards and all the control. 
and they care more about lining their own pockets than about the content creators whose audiobooks they're selling. So they take virtually all the profits from every sale and they get away with it. And I don't want to be the one bearing all this bad news, but actually knowing that that's what's been happening sets up a better understanding for what this great news is that I'm delivering. While there are many other audiobook retailers and competition to Audible is helpful, yes, but it's not a solution because they're all using the same model and playing the game the same way. But at Amplify Audiobooks, we're working in support of content creators. So we've kind of turned the whole formula on its head. It's a little bit like you might describe it as like the Etsy of audiobooks, where authors can sell your own audiobooks direct from your own online store, and then it comes with a built-in suite of marketing tools. So you get to earn way more for every sale, and you get to stay in the driver's seat for your audiobook. You get to set your own price, and you can't do that anywhere else. And you can schedule promotional sales. Can't do that anywhere else. You can create whatever discount codes you want or need. Can't do that anywhere else. And you know who your own customers are. So you can connect with them. You can build community. And you know that information is so valuable. And the retailers know it. So you're not going to get that anywhere else. But you get it on Amplify Audiobooks. For listeners, using the Amplify Audiobooks app, it's just like the one for Audible. So the user experience is what they're used to. So now you can not only set your own price, but you get to earn 65% of the gross sales price that you set. Let me explain that a little bit. So there's kind of a sneaky way that, <laughs> that uh, digital distributors in the audiobook world present information that's it's a little deceptive because they say they're going to pay you this high percentage, but they don't say up front what it's a percentage of, that it's actually a percentage of the net, not the gross price. What that means is that they're not paying a percentage of what a customer pays when they buy it, which is what you'd expect, but rather that they're going to be paying a percentage of what's left over after they take out what they consider their expenses and their profit, which is typically at least 50%. So then you're getting a percentage of that percentage of whatever might be left over. So that is where we get tricked in the language that we typically will see out there. And I want to just make it clear for you because it's important for you to understand that. And Amplify Audiobooks is different. It's a game changer. So what you get is not only fair treatment, not only higher revenues from each sale, you also get tools and support to actually make money with your audiobook and to build your audience with your audiobook. So you can make more books and more audiobooks and make a living at it, not just, you know, spend your life savings and hope it all pans out in the end, right? That's what we want. And one of the interesting things is that though those authors that hire PR firms and marketing teams and have a marketing budget, which is great, they'll get even more benefit. Because when they're, you're directing your traffic to your Amplify Audiobooks page, now you're going to actually be able to have the benefit of knowing who bought your audiobook. You're going to earn a lot more. You're going to be able to reconnect with your audience. So you can actually earn your marketing budget back, which is the way it should be, and get a return on your investment and move into profitability. So, but if you can't afford your own marketing team, that's okay too, because the marketing tools in Amplify Audiobooks, they're easy to use. They're designed to help you build your audience and to build it collaboratively with other authors on the platform. There are not only marketing tools to help you, but also a team that actually really cares about your success, that's responsive, that will help you. 
Because again, the platform is built to support creators and their success. It's not just about paying you better, though that's important. It's also about empowering you with the ability to actually make a living at this, if that's what you want to do. And Amplify Audiobooks is great for listeners because, you know, as listeners, we get to connect with the creators, the authors, and we know that we're not just our, you know, when we spend on audiobooks, we're not just dumping those profits into some mega corporation, uh, you know, that's making out like bandits, that's, that's depriving of the, the authors their fair share. So if you love audiobooks, then support the authors instead of the bandits, right? People who care about creators' rights, people who care that the people, the stories that they're listening to are actually rewarding the person who wrote them and not someone, not, you know, a billionaire somewhere that really doesn't need that. So you can go to amplifyaudiobooks.com and discover some of the best audiobooks you've ever listened to. And remember also that if we don't support creators, the authors, then everyone loses. Like all of us have a vested interest in supporting platforms that reward creators. And I think that, you know, if we don't do this now, uh, we run the risk of having a future where everything's just kind of a rehash sequel of everything else, an AI world. Everything's just franchises of franchises and there are no original stories anymore, no creativity, because all the creators have had to move on to something that pays better just to survive. That's not the world we want to live in. So Amplify Audiobooks is a movement and we're fighting for a more equitable and just audiobook world where creators thrive and listeners know they're having a positive impact. Now, we have put gifts in the BookFest virtual gift bag for both authors and for audiobook lovers. We're all in this together. So I hope that you will join me, join us in the Amplify Audiobooks movement and help us to spread the word.